Hey folks, and what's up? Um, today I'm going to do an experiment to see whether I can open a beer bottle with an induction heater. I recently saw a video on Backyard Scientist where he did a bunch of really cool experiments, including that. So I wanted to just see how easy that is to really do, and if it's really possible. I may be lucky, I may not, but let's see what happens. Here I have a low power induction heater, portable. I can plug this thing into a DC power supply. This one runs at about 360 watts. You probably can push it up to four or 500 watts. I'm gonna test this one out first to see what happens, and then we'll go from there. Here goes. Let's get started. Ooh, some serious smoke here. I think we're going to have to go to some more power here. 360 watts obviously isn't enough. I'm going to have to get the big guns out here. It's blowing red and it's still staying on. I'm amazed the, the glass bottle hasn't cracked with all that heat. Alright, I'm going to have to turn this off because nothing's really happening here. I've got another bottle of beer. I ended up drinking that first bottle. So we're gonna try this one on this more powerful tunable induction heater and see what this does. This one can go up to a couple of kilowatts at least. It's mounted a hole right through the cap and it's not popped off. Well, um, maybe a fluke. Angry Orchard Crisp Apple Cider. All right, here goes. That one didn't work either. Look at that. Burnt a hole right through the cap. Just like this one. Backyard scientist, I'm not sure how he did his. His looked easy. Maybe I'm just unlucky with these. But anyway, um, definitely not a good way if you're real thirsty and you don't have a bottle opener. All right, let me check this out to see how this tastes. I'm sure it's gonna be nasty. It's a little metallic, but not bad. Peace out, guys. Please check back for more videos.